team coverage tonight, starting with Fox 23's crime and safety reporter, John Acevas. John, you've gone through all of that video today. What does it reveal? So when Nex's mother finally calls uh, police to the Bailey Medical Center in Owasso, we hear from Nex themselves about why they believe that fight happened. We also hear an Owasso police officer say the school dropped the ball in the response. We began watching the body camera of an Owasso police officer who came after Nex's mother called to have a police report filed. Hey, stranger. Nex was here to get checked out after a fight earlier that afternoon on February 7th. When, when did this happen today? Uh, around one. You hear Nex explain to the officer there was something that Nex did not like about what a group of girls said while they were stacking chairs during school, and it ended up spilling over into the bathroom. So, so they just continued to, to, to pick on you and pick on you. Um, then at some point, you did what, what happened? They, they got up and confronted you in class, or? We were. Or did you say it was the bathroom, bathroom. or the hallway? Okay, the bathroom. We were going to stack chairs, and we after we stacked chairs, we mm -hmm. went to the bathroom. Okay. And I was talking with my friends, they were talking with their friends, and we were laughing, and they had said something like, why do they laugh like that? And, and mm -hmm. they were talking about us in front of us. Mm -hmm. And so I went up there and I poured water on them. They came at me, they grabbed out of my hair. I grabbed onto them. Uh, I threw one of them into a paper towel dispenser and then they got my legs out from under me and got me on the ground and started beating the shit out of me. Okay. okay. And then my friends tried to jump in and help, but I'm, I'm not sure I blacked out. Owasso police say some students and a staff member broke it up. Here's video of Nex walking out of the nurse's office with the security officer and then walking out of the school with their mom. Watch again. You can see they did not need any assistance, which is different than what people are sharing on social media, saying Nex could barely walk and needed help getting to the principal's office. Online, people have blamed the school for not calling an ambulance. We also found out Nex did not know the girls they fought with, which is also different than what people are posting. We don't know each other. Well, you know of each other with the vape situations and all that or, or no we before this we had no work left before this isp thing uh -huh. we had we never saw each other the freshmen were sophomore okay, okay. we didn't know any Okay. No, I don't know their names. I don't know. The following day, less than 24 hours later, Nex's mother calls 911 from their home frantic. She's breathing in, but then she, her eyes are, they open, but she's doing like a, huh, 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 you know, like a really quick, and her hands are posturing already. They're, they're rolling in like, like, I don't know if it's from her head injury because the girls that beat her up knocked her to the ground and she hit, and they were, they, she hit her head on the bathroom floor, and um, when the, when I got there, the school was like, I, I think you might need to take her to the hospital. Back to the hospital room so the I'm day before Nex died. Nex's like, mother is upset the school didn't school contact model. police, and uh, the officer figure, doesn't blame her. Any criminal type action, the school is supposed to give yes. us a call. That's right. Um, so whether they just got, and, and I'm not making excuses for them, but I've seen it happen both ways. Either they maybe they forgot. Maybe there was other things going on. Who knows? But the fact of the matter is they, they, they dropped the ball in this one. Nex's mother wants someone held accountable, but the officer explains that Nex started it by throwing the water. She's the one who started the domino effect. Yeah. If she had never done that, and I'm not blaming you. I know. If you had not have done that, we may not even be here. After a 20 or so minute conversation, the officer leaves. I'll see you around. Now back to the 911 call the following day. She's breathing in but doing like shallow, shallow breaths and then out. Okay. And, and her, she, her she eyes did. are kind of rolling back. Two weeks after Nex died, Owasso police released a preliminary report from the medical examiner saying Nex did not die of trauma, but an official toxicology report is still forthcoming. Does she take any medication? No, no. She does at night, yes, but she hasn't had none today. Okay. And does she take any illegal drugs? Not that I care. I just need no. to know. Okay. No, she does not. Has she ever had any kind of like seizure or anything before? No, no, she hasn't. Okay. Is she? Can she still like look at you? Like if you're. No, her eyes are her eyes are rolled up. Her eyes are rolled up and kind of. Gosh, I hope this ain't from her head. They're supposed to have checked her out good. Owasso police say once they complete their investigation, it'll then be sent to the FBI and the Tulsa County District Attorney. DA Steve Koonsweiler released a two-paragraph statement saying, in part, 
This currently is an active law enforcement investigation. As such, we do not comment upon nor do we speculate about what may or may not be a crime. Obviously, the unexpected death of a person, especially a child, is a tragedy. In putting together this content tonight, we sourced three different video links which we have embedded to this story on fox23.com. So if you're interested in going and clicking on those links, you can watch each of those in their raw and complete form. Covering news that matters, John Acevis, Fox 23 News.